Hi folks, welcome back to Mad Ferret Studios, Budiki here. So we are entering on to part 25. This one will have <clears throat> at least three or four quests going. Um, we're going to go into the Gloaming, aka quest called Living on the Hedge. <laughs> if you, for you folks, if you know who Bon Jovi is, then you'll know their uh, song that topped the charts and blew it out of the water in the 80s, Living on a Prayer on the Slippery When Wet album. So they named the Gloomy Quest Living on the Hedge. Smart. Um, Kim has asked us to meet her on the bridge, by the pond, by our house. A couple other things going on, too, that escapes my memory, so... But that, we'll just jump right in. No. So we have living on the hedge. Um, I ran into in between episodes. I ran into Zephyr at the our, my well, and she said there's an easier way for me to be able to care for the farm and water it, which will be an absolutely wonderful thing. The elections coming up on Saturday. This is still pending. We have everything for Violet to do for her um, boutique. My God, I cannot wait to get into that and start clothes shopping. So again, my apologies on the last episode. I was really hoping to be able to get Violet everything she needed to open the boutique, but I didn't realize how much I had to go through to get it. So since it's early Friday morning, everybody's fed, watered double check all right everybody's good all right I'm gonna go see Violet no Here you go, Violet. Wow, thank you so much. Come back tomorrow. I've got a surprise for you. Okay, so we got her her stuff. We can go shopping tomorrow. Oh, thank God. Lucy, what are you doing? Alright, Lucy's in here joining us for this episode. Do I need anything from Violet? No, I do not. Do I need to sell anything? No, I do not. Alright. She's done. Let's see what Angus is up to. Tara, just the person I was hoping to see. Do you have milk and eggs to spare? Aren't those essential ingredients for bakers? Well, yes, but I wanted to make marmalade pudding for the rehearsal dinner, and it's best with fresh ingredients. Mmm, marmalade pudding. Sounds British. Uh, excuse you. It's a classic <laughs> Scottish dessert. My grand taught me her own recipe. Help me out, and I'll make an extra pudding just for you. Oh, yeah. I'll use store-bought ingredients if I have to, but... No need. Here. Fresh eggs and fresh milk! Ha! You're worth a true baker's dozen. Come by in a day and I'll show you what I've whipped up. Oh, God, yeah. I'm so down for that. Uh, you already have stuff I don't need. Okay. I hope you like the debate. I didn't get to talk about all of my ideas, though, and I have so many exciting ones. Really? Like, like what? what? Oh, follow me on social. We're posting a new idea every day. I don't have a phone. Yeah, great chatting with you. Oh, so this election is going to be hard. Otto presents a danger to the coven, as well as Messenger Cameron with the malcontents, quote unquote. <sighs> it's kind of 
of like voting for one to get rid of the other. Yikes. All right, we're gonna go see Zephyr. You came! Ha! Ready to make your first whirly gig? Zephyr, you can't just pop up in my farm like that. Now Thomas thinks I talk to my watering can. Oh, Thomas. He really needs more help around his farm. I wish I could talk to him sometime, but, <laughs> well, rules are rules. Anyway, uh, a whirly gig is an enchanted machine that'll take care of farm chores for you. You can build one for watering your plants, chopping down trees, or harvesting crops. They'll save you lots of time. We'll need some metals to build your first one. Bring them to me, and I'll get to work on it right away. I've been reading about old Russian harvest festivals now that it's finally fall. My dad may have been a deadbeat, but I still like learning about the place he came from. Maybe if I can find a potion that lasts for an entire flight, I could even go there someday. No way, I do need parchment. Hold on. Finally, now that it's fall, I don't have to worry about my makeup running in the heat. Amira, your makeup never runs. <laughs> yes, it does. I try not to be vain, but I notice every time. Go see Natalia. Thank you. 
Yay. Do you have the items we need to make your first whirly gig? Yes, here they are. Great! Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready. Everything done for here, so do I have a spell to summon night? The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. Are you ready, novice? As much as I'll ever be. Very well. Novice, herbalist, Adap, follow me to the stone circle. This keystone opens a path between the stone circle and the least dangerous part of the gloaming. I was hoping we could all stay out of the gloaming for decades, but the rate at which magic is flowing from the wellspring means that's not possible. I will keep them safe. I promise. Oh, way cool! You know, I shouldn't be surprised by all the flashing sparklies at this point. But they are so pretty. Make good decisions, please. <laughs> of course. What kind of a witch will you be? A good witch? 
there are no good witches or bad witches, only good or bad actions. What? What is this? Ah, uh, yes. The barriers. We've never really understood where they come from. They are impervious to everything but pure magic. So, you'll need to blast it with your wand. Blast it? Oh, well, which spell should I use? No spell. Just point and shoot. Okay! Oh, okay. Good. Give it a couple more hits. You'll need to watch your magic reserves in future encounters with them. Whoa. This place is amazing! I know, but be on your guard. It's beautiful, but dangerous. Like me. Sweet snapdragons! I just saw a vine move. Everything here is alive with power from the wellspring. But they each translate that power differently. We're just looking for a flower, right? Yes, but these ones defend themselves from being picked. That's why they're called hedgehog grass flowers. Hmm, I'm not sure how to get through here yet. With your wand. Is this it? Yes. Now we just need five more. Got it. Good work. Let's get back to the stone. The vines won't attack us as we retreat. We've cowed them into submission. Oh, hold up. I've never seen a plant like this before. I've only heard of them, but I think this is an echo blossom. Whoa. All the petals are covered in crystal. Echo blossoms look normal, but if you grasp the stem, the flower takes a short impression. And if you crack the layer of crystals... Oops! It's so slippery. No. No way. <sighs> I hope this works. Echo Blossoms are powerful magic. 
and my mama said not many of them are left but if I don't make it out of the gloaming tonight I want someone to know I was here and these will be my little breadcrumb trail Gloria is it true Violet that was your mom I I can't believe I just yeah that was her. So we know she came this way the night she disappeared. It seems so. Violet, are you all right? What a shock to your system. <sighs> oh my god! I saw her! I really saw her! Yes! We should look for more of these. Are you kidding? I'm not letting a single one get away. I need to know everything. Well, before we get into the search, we need to get back and speak with a coven about it. Ugh, fine. But then I want to come right back and begin looking. Ooh. Six hedgehog grass flowers, just like you asked. Oh, wonderful. Well done, you three. Novice, distill the essence from the flowers in your sanctum. Then brew six potions. We have something else to tell you as well. We found an echo blossom in the gloaming, and... And it had an impression of my mom! She was there the night she disappeared! By all the stars of the first witches! I didn't think Echo Blossoms grew there anymore! But if all three of you saw the impression of Gloria, we'll have to look into this. For now, Herbalist, rest up. Oh, honey, what a day you've had. In the meantime, novice, Please attend to the Glamour Neutralization Potion. I hope you can have several cauldrons going. This potion takes a while to brew. I'll get to work on them right away. Ooh. Nice. Witchcraft can make any task easier. It can make the lives of those around you easier. You must keep working at it, but don't ignore the rest of your life. It is a balance. Hi, Farseer. Seen anything interesting lately? I see a witch who ought to be tending to her cauldron. <laughs> um, okay, nice chat. I know the Farseer's whole thing is to speak in riddles. Sometimes I wish I could just get one straight answer out of the guy. So Mayor Otto is running against the new guy who always comes in here with chicken poop on his boots. <laughs> Some mm. choice. I liked it better when Sebastian's dad was mayor.
Hold on just a second. I need to need to move the time back up. Okay. Is it? It is! A recipe! Ooh, mojito. Nice. Time for bed. Morning, Giver. What are you up to? Headed to see the election results, of course. I can't vote, but I wouldn't miss this for the world. Fancy coming along? Right. Let's go. Here you go, Tara. It's so great to see all our neighbors performing their civic duty. Hmm. Who should I vote for? <laughs> Lesser two evils. Forward into the future. Whatever that might bring. Okay. Everyone, we're ready to tally the votes. Okay, settle down, everyone. The final vote count is as follows. Otto Soft, nine votes. Martin Emerson, eight votes. And two write-in votes for Lena Dahl Johnson. What? Lena? What is he talking about? I, I have no idea. I didn't ask anyone to vote for me. Well, I, I did prepare a speech in the hopes that common sense would prevail. As my first act as your newly re-elected mayor, I would like to announce the new members of the friendly Fairhaven Neighborhood Watch, Natalia and Thomas. Oh, Lena? God. Not here, Tara. Oh, God. We're stuck with Otto. Ugh.
is my whirly gig done? Yep, here it is. Oh um, my goodness. It doesn't do much. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I haven't powered it yet, silly. I'll deliver the whirly gig to your home free of charge. But you'll need a powered gem like this one to power it. Now this baby will do a great job, but oh. he won't last forever. Different gems can hold different charges. If you bring me more, I can charge them so you can replace this one when it runs out. I can also make other kinds of whirly gigs for different tasks. Really? Mm -hmm. But won't my neighbors notice that I have a magical device watering my crops for me? If anyone asks, just say you imported it from Europe. And people will believe me? Yeah! How else do you think Hazel ran the farm <laughs> on her own all those years? Way cool. That means we're going to be going mining for... Um, gems! Oh gosh, Violet's Boutique. Holy crap. I almost forgot. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. You did not seriously offer honey to Thomas. He ordered pancakes, we were out of maple syrup. What was I supposed to do? He hates large-scale honey farming. Says honeybees don't pollinate as well as wild bees, like bumblebees. They're more susceptible to colony collapse, yada yada yada. I can't believe he didn't give you a whole lecture. He must be sweet on you. And not just for your pancakes. <laughs> Violet's right. I think Thomas likes you, Sophia. You should go on a date with him. Oh. My, I, I am not ready for dating yet. Thomas and I are just old friends, and I'm happy to keep it that way. Violet, you should leave the matchmaking to the professionals. I'm worried, Tara. Sophia holds Giacomo on such a pedestal. I'm afraid she'll never let herself get close to anyone else. We'll help her, Violet. She just has to move on in her own time. Ugh. I hope you're right. Angus said he wanted me to supply some edibles for his cake, and I was like, oh, it's gonna be a party now. But he meant flowers. Edible flowers. Darn, I was hoping I could shop in her boutique. Guess not. Darn, Angus is closed. I hope that cat is okay. This weather is no good. That cat knows how to look out for itself. You don't need to worry. Oh, I'm sure. But there's this legend that cats can... Well, never mind. Let's just say I'm a cat lady. <laughs> okay.
When crafting an incantation, the most important thing is evoking the very nature of what you're changing. That's where understanding and being clear in your intentions matters even more than the verse itself. The art varies from which to which. Is it time for bed? Hey, Planty. Water some plants for me today? Aww.
Oh, such a pretty girl. Hi, Kim. <laughs> What's up? Do you like folktales, Tara? My favorite one comes from both of my cultures. It's the Tanabata Festival in Japan, and it's inspired by a Chinese story. The cowherd and the weaver girl, who lived among the stars. In the story, the weaver girl, Orihime, and her beloved, the cowherd Hikoboshi, lived on opposite sides of the heavenly river, the Milky Way. When Orihime and Hikoboshi fell in love, Orihime stopped weaving cloth for the Sky King and Higoboshi let his cows stray all over heaven, so the Sky King separated them. Oh, that's terrible. But Orihime's tears moved the king to pity, and he agreed to let them meet on the seventh day of the seventh month if she finished her weaving in time. But when the day arrived, there was no bridge for them to cross to reach each other, so a flock of magpies made a bridge with their wings so the lovers could be together. That is a really romantic story. I feel like I've been waiting more than seven months to meet someone like you. I've been waiting my whole life. Aww. I love you, Tara. Oh, Kim. I love you too. Wait a moment. Am, am I the cowherd in this story? Well, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> great. That's great. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness me. So sweet, oh my god. What is the robot doing? We're real lucky Sophia landed on Fairhaven all those years ago. Who would I get my pumpkin pie from otherwise? Oh, sure. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> That's the only reason you're grateful for Sophia? You sure you want a simple fella like me to have this?
Well, it looks like Otto is staying in office. I was thinking to myself, I'm not sure what he would have done if he had lost. Can't see him working for his dad ever again, that's for sure. Emmy is so smart, but she knows stealing is wrong. She could have just asked Juliet if she could see the sheep music. Sometimes my children baffle me. <laughs> children are often that way. The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. Hi, Priestess. I've always wanted to know. Does it see, help honey, when spells doing? rhyme? For some, it does. It helps to think of creating incantations like writing poetry or composing music. You build on different aspects as you conjure. Sometimes that can be as simple as a rhyme to help okay, you remember. You okay? You all right? Okay, okay. Sorry guys for the background noise. That was Lucy. She got her claw caught on part of the rug and was kind of squeaking a little bit. You okay? Oh, sweetheart. You knew. Okay. Shh. You're okay. Yeah. You okay? Yes, you're okay. I know. Yes, I know. I'm getting kisses from Lucy. She's a very demanding child. You okay? Yes, you are. Okay. Come here. Let me hold you. Okay. Are you done? Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? Are you good? Okay. All right, that last concoction should be done. Shit, still brewing. Dang it. Hmm. Is it time for bed? Was ready. What am I missing? Shit, I need a pearl. Okay. For the other things, I would literally have a shed full of fermentation barrels to brew. Because that's all I would be doing is brewing.
I'm so excited to see what you think. Actually, I might have overcatered a bit, so I've got a few for you. Thanks for all your help. Oh my goodness, five of them. Good lord. He likes this. Mm, this looks good. Thanks. Okay, yeah, good. Oof, alrighty. Okay, he's the one who wanted the almonds. Violet! Violet! Seriously! Oh my god! Oh my good lord, we may be checking the uh, boutique out in the next episode. Oh, this is getting ridiculous! Ugh! Ugh, I need to see Bruno. Alright. Okay, folks, I think we're going to cut it there. My dinner is ready, and we got the potions brewed, thankfully. So Zephyr got us our little um, watering, magic watering whirly gig. He's cute. I'm going to name him Jack. If you know Gears of War, then you, know who should, then you should know who Jack is. So we're going to name our guy Jack. So the next episode we'll give we'll do living on the hedge, get that finished up. Finally go to her boutique. So we can buy clothes, which I've been trying to do for the past two episodes. So with that, thank you guys for joining me. And please like and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode. Bye for now.